What is up guys, Tomcat here, and today we are playing some spin tires on the new Hollister Hills Top Truck Challenge map. We've got two of the Top Truck Challenge trucks right here. We've got Power CJ2A and Spun's Scout, and we're going to be taking both of these trucks through the course a little bit, having some fun learning the course, and later on, actually pretty soon, hopefully, uh, I'm going to be doing some multiplayer on this map with these trucks as well, and we're going to be bringing some other trucks into this map to see if they can, uh, to see if they can measure up to the obstacles that these vehicles were literally made for. So, I'm going to try out, I think, the CJ2A first, and probably run right up here to the right, and see, uh, just see how it kind of gets on. Now, these are just, like, sitting right here, so I'm gonna use them as- a Oh my god, okay. Well, that made short work of those. Alright, that- that- that kind of sets the tone for what this thing is gonna be like, then. I like this camera angle, that's cool. So, down through here, I'm not really sure what's supposed to be down here, and I know- I know for a fact that uh, Spun and them, they did a series on this. I didn't, I, I didn't watch the series because I wanted to have my own personal experience on this map completely without watching any of the videos or anything like that. So there's a tow test down here, and we're not going to go through it, I guess, by the signs. We're just going to explore it in this video because I want to actually get to know the map before I try to do an actual, you know, proper challenge. Now, let's see. What do we have right here? Frame Twister. That sounds fun. So the frame twister starts right here, or it looks like it starts right here. Even though it's a, even though it's an objective spot, I'm pretty sure that they would have you starting right there. But uh, hmm, whether or not we run it backwards is probably completely irrelevant. So let's go ahead and stick it in low three, and try to work this thing through here. We've already high centered it. Let's, you know what? Let's actually put it in automatic. So that we can easily shift it to reverse if we have to, just by going, uh, just by moving your finger to a different key. The tires and the insane suspension travel on this Jeep, and all really all of the Top Truck Challenge trucks, really help it through uh, through these twisters. I mean, honestly, God, look at the look at the amount of suspension travel you have not only that though look at the amount of tire you have it's crazy how much tire is under this jeep let's see if we can work our way up to the left we knocked over a sign that's probably a penalty of some sort although like i said we're not doing an actual challenge this time around so i don't really care if i knock over stuff so oh god oh that's close maybe turn to the right just a little She's kind of hanging up a little bit. God, if I can get it to go straight, but not, mm, but not back over here. See, I've watched the videos of the actual Top Truck Challenge, and this is what happens. Trucks get bound up, and then they can't turn around, and then they lose a hell of a lot of time. Oh, come on. There you go. There she goes. Not bad. Let's try low two, the top of low two, to see if that helps us get a little bit, ooh, a little bit more grip. God, look at that flex. That is crazy. That is crazy. That, I think, is the most flex I've seen out of any spin tires vehicle so far. Honestly, I, I think the only vehicle that might have a chance here is that, um, is that orange YJ crawler, but even, even so, like, this is definitely more capable than that. With the four-wheel steer, the tires this big, I mean, it's just nuts. I'm gonna put it in high and see if high helps with the logs. Come on! God, these suck. Really hard to get grip with. Really, really hard to get grip with. Oh, come on. Tell you what, we'll try low two. God, she just walks right over him in low two. Put in low three. See if it keeps going. Yeah, dude, it does fine. Dude, she does fine. Walk it right up over the log. Okay, yeah, those weren't even a challenge. And then these should just... Oh, yes. Oh, dude, it just walks it. Uh-oh. Other side was a bit hairy, though. Oh, God. Let's see if I can just walk it down. That's in a bit of a weird place. Oh, there we go. Work it around and run over a cone. Well, drive over it. <laughs> no big deal. Alright, frame twister done. You know what I want to do? 
I want to grab the scout, and I want to see how the scout does in comparison, because these things are slightly different. Let's stick the jack there. Uh, well, we don't need the repair points, so... Spawns KM2s. Spawns Pitbull Rockers. Um... Or the default Swampers. I'm gonna run it with the Swampers. Um, the- oh my god, the turning radius on this thing is, like, stupid. It's so tight. I mean, that is what you want, though. I feel like- I can't really tell if this is wider than the Jeep, or if the- or if, like, the, um, or if the body on this is just wider, so it makes the wheelbase see- or, like, it makes the stance seem narrower. That- that could be. But regardless of all of that, it's time for the frame twister. Now, this thing is probably gonna be- I don't know, it's- it's gonna be a slightly different approach, that's for sure. Definitely looks more like a- like, it looks more mud truck-ish than- like, it's- it's weird. It, it's- it's like a combination of like a mud truck and a rock crawler, which is kind of what you want in the top truck challenge, really, because they make you deal with all that stuff. The Jeep, I feel like, is a little bit more crawler. This is easier for it to fall on its side, that's for sure. Tighter turning radius than the Jeep, though, for sure. It's got a much tighter turning radius than the Jeep, and it's shorter, too, which is weird. I mean, he really stretched that Jeep out, so... It's the same- this is weird, too. It's the same spot we found ourselves in with the Jeep, but thanks to the short wheelbase, we were able to find a slightly different way around. And ended up actually getting through there a whole lot quicker. Now the mud, this should honestly have no problem. I'm gonna try just sticking it in high, see what happens, and it gets stuck. Okay, no big deal. We'll throw it back into low three. This thing's wheelbase is actually helping it out in here. Yeah, the Jeep kept getting hung up on different, like, just because of the wheelbase. I mean, you're gonna get different advantages and disadvantages on different spots based on wheelbase. So it's not really, you can't really say one's better than the other on a really varied course. Let's see this walk these pipes. Oh my god. Dude. That's nuts. And it was a, a little bit cleaner than the, uh, than the Jeep in finishing it up. Let's see, actually. So now that we've made it through that first obstacle, before we go on, before we go on, I'm gonna flex the, uh, I'm gonna flex the scout on the Jeep real quick. Just to see what it ends up looking like. Cause I guarantee you it'll look badass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks awesome. That looks badass. Alright, so, let's grab the CJ, and we'll go ahead and run the, uh, run the other direction. Well, not really the other direction, we'll continue running the course, and we'll see what's up next, because that was the frame twister. So now, coming up around the next corner will hopefully be something even crazier. What is this? Oh, is this obstacle course? Okay, sweet. Oh, dude. Alright, ready? And go! I'm not timing it or anything, I just wanted to start it off. Dip down to the first hole. No big deal. Oh, you know what? I am definitely gonna want low three for this. So the automatic doesn't bog down. So far, perfect grip, no issues at all. Thing is just chewing its way through this mud, oh my god. Find its way back down into the muddy water, but at the same time, we can probably work our way up to the edge, and kind of drive our way out. Oh, using all of the flex there. Hit the bump stops. Or, well, this thing probably doesn't even have any bump stops, to be honest. Oh, damn it! It runs. Oh my god! Okay, that was right at the tip of, of what would have been, like... Of what of what would have been the angle that uh, that we would have been just done for, but the only thing is, we actually we we hit it just right to where gravity was on our side, so that ended up ended up playing out nicely for us. God, this rig is a beast. Uh oh, hit a cone. That's what you don't want to do on Top Truck Challenge is hit a cone. Because like when you watch the actual Top Truck Challenge, the the penalty for hitting a cone is pretty is pretty big. It's not just a tiny little thing. That cone just kind of fell over. I don't think I hit it. It's a little notch right here. This is weird. Four-wheel steering really coming into play, helping out a lot. Finding our way up, no big deal. 
Oh, this thing just walks it up. Walks it up no problem. And I think I'm gonna actually, it's funny because if you, if you take a second and look at these freaking axles, they are so crazy. They are so crazy. Pretty much the heavy, heaviest duty axles. Oh god, there goes a cone. But yeah, pretty much the heaviest duty axles you could probably put on a Jeep. Well, actually, never mind. You could put any axles you wanted if you did enough fabrication. You could put crane axles under a Jeep if you wanted to fab if you wanted to do that much fabrication. <laughs> I mean, you could you could do it. Up and over. Oh, there goes another cone. I feel like the um, the Scout's really short wheelbase is going to really help it in here. Um, I'm not sure how much it's going to help it, but I think it's going to give it an advantage over this uh, over this um, CJ2A because this has been stretched so much and the the control arms are so long that uh, I, I think that's the like you get, occasionally this thing gets hurt by its wheelbase, but not much. Most of the time, it actually makes it really easy to crawl over stuff. But yeah, in terms of, like, tight space navigation, the scout probably is going to have it there. Excuse me, cone. Trying to avoid you. Trying to avoid the cones. Come on. Up and over the end. Oh, yeah. All right. CJ2A, obstacle course complete. So, is now scout time. I think the scout is going to do awesome in there. Just my personal opinion. I th oh my god. Jeez. This thing is dumb and high. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. Jeez. It's it's like stupidly powerful and high. Well, it's not even that it's stupidly powerful. It's like when you start using the four-wheel steering and high, like the four-wheel steering starts to shoot it all over the place. All right. Low three. Hit the obstacle course and see how she does. You can see the tracks that the Jeep left. Let's dip in just a little bit earlier. Head straight through the mud bog. It's funny because they all, like, because people like Spun and Bruton Powers, they all built trucks for this, and they positioned their cameras in different spots. And I'm, I'm, it, it, it's interesting to see where everybody positioned their cameras. Probably going to go a little bit further to the right this time, hoping I don't get stuck. Here it goes. Come on, here we go. Okay, that cone just fell over. There's cones that are falling over just of their own accord. Okay, I learned my lesson from last time with the Jeep and didn't hit it at quite as as uh, intense of an angle coming in. There she goes. Not bad, not bad. Go a little bit further down this way, and then work my way up to the right. Uh-oh. Got slightly stuck for a second, but it was no big deal. We kind of made our way up. Made our way up and out. Oh, yeah. God, this mud and water is so deep. And it's really, like, it's thick mud, too. So you can really appreciate the amount of grip these trucks have. I just obliterated that cone. Ran right over it. Didn't even mean to. Just ran right over the damn thing. Come on, trying to get this thing just slid into place. There we go. And I gotta admit, in low three, it's actually not all that slow. It really moves its way on up the hill. Just as fast as it needs to go. I mean, these things do not need to be fast. They just need to be really grippy and really low geared. And, and that's about it. Oh, dropping down to the next hole. There she goes. Not bad. Oh, that was sketch. A little bit of left, and then power on. Not too bad, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna come out and say I think the the um the scout did better than the jeep, and I I I don't say that lightly because I like if you ask me to pick which one I like I like the jeep better than the scout, but I think uh I, I think functionally the scout did a better job uh, than the CJ2A of the first um the frame twister and the uh, the obstacle course. This thing is 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 really just walking its way through here. It really is. Trying to avoid that cone, and we- Aw, oh, come on. The co like, the hit detection for the cones isn't great. 
Because there's a lot of cones that have fallen over and I haven't even touched them. There we go. Get in there. That one I know I touched. That one was that one was on me. I'll I'll take that one. But yeah, that was really fun. And that was only a little bit of this particular map. Like there's a whole hell of a lot more uh, to do on this map like flex on your buddy's jeep but um yeah if you guys enjoyed this video with this tour of the new top truck challenge map don't forget to leave me a like tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more don't forget to also tune in tomorrow there'll be more there will be more forza as well as another episode of spin tires so again hope you guys enjoyed see you guys later